Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining in today. Uh, you're meeting with Mr. Stax. Uh, today's session is our morning hype. And what we're doing here is we're going to go ahead and look over some of our high volume stocks today and try to see if we'll find a spot where we can jump in and try to make a little money. As you can see here, I have a four charts for four different stocks here put up where I'm keeping an eye on some of our meme stocks as well as some of our our high volume stocks today. Uh, Torch Light Energy Resources is one I've been following for a little over a week now. Um, they've actually had a real big gain yesterday going from about $6 to about $11. So we're looking about a 100% increase on that on that stock there due to a dividend that they recently uh, put out there for everybody and they had an update that was released yesterday that kind of gave a, a little more detail on when to expect and what to expect on that dividend so this kind of caused the, st the stock to jump up here and still showing pretty good a uh, significant amount of volume today as you can see it's up about 300 uh, 3 million shares uh, since 3 a.m. this morning once the market opened pre-market anyways uh, we also have a couple other ones that are moving here we have Adil and we have Wish to where they both are showing high volume today uh, I also have Blackberry, uh, CLNE, Workhorse, uh, some of these other stocks that you may be familiar with that I've also been uh, watching but these stocks are actually showing a decrease in volume today so they might not be a, a, there might not be a lot of movement with these stocks as we've been seeing here for the last previous days but we are going to go ahead and uh, keep our eyes on these stocks and see what happens as the the day moves forward uh, right now it's about 6 a.m. Uh, June 22nd 2021 and uh, this is a uh, just your r real morning hype you know a lot of times I like to just get up early and see what's what's going on in the morning in the stock market uh, a lot of times I get on the channel and look for certain news that's out there and there's not a lot of things I see that really takes place in the morning. You might see some people jump on with their little shows or their forums, their YouTube videos about 7.30 before the market opens. But usually by that time, everything that's probably popping is already up and running. You may, you may get in a little late. You could get in early if you feel like it's something that may be, have some potential in popping off for the day. But what I've noticed is when the market does open, it can go either way but if you want to wait for the market to open let the price drop and try to get in at a lower price that's always a good uh, way of buying but a lot of times uh, if you wait to the market and say that the stock does start jumping and it jumps a dollar in the first five minutes then you're kind of missing out so it's really hard to really pinpoint on which ones are going to jump and which ones aren't the reason why I label this video a, a pop and drop video for our morning hype but uh, pre-market is always a good indicator of where the volume's at, what kind of catalysts are out on the stock, and it gives you enough time to research on what this this company is really doing. You know, what are they involved in, and what are, what is to come, what's their fundamentals like, you know, and things like that. And it'll give you more of an idea if it's something to put some money in, if it's a smart investment, if it's something you should look into long term, or just something for the day or the week. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I have a few different platforms that I use, but I have long-term stocks, I have day stocks that I trade in and out through the day, depending on what my limits are. Uh, as you can see, I don't do any short selling. I don't have any margin accounts or anything like that. Everything is strictly cash. You know, I win and when I win, I lose when I lose. I'm not going to sit here and say that I know everything. Uh, this is, you know, a risk just like anything else you, you take when you invest in your money and trying to make profit with it it's not always a guarantee but if you do your homework you have a, a higher chance of being successful than failing at those types of choices you make but overall I just wanted to have something to you know to talk about in the morning maybe have a little chat with other people that may be new to the market uh, I'm new to the, the YouTube myself this is something that I would like to start doing on a regular basis every morning 
just to give uh, our viewers, you know, just a little insight on what we are looking at, what potential money makers we may be seeing for the day, as well as something to maybe looking at for the next few days to come or weeks to come as, you know, earnings start coming out, these new companies start actually building reputations, start making money. All the transitions are from natural gas and zero emissions and electric vehicles and cryptocurrency and banking and all the gossip going on in the world. There's so many things that can happen. But me, I like to do a lot of homework. I dig into a lot of data and I just like to make logic of what's really going on with something. If it makes sense to me and I feel it's a good investment, I'll put some money in there. And a lot of times, you know, I think for the future, I don't like to think for the day. And you got to look at the big picture a lot of times before you can actually understand what's really going on with some of these prices or some of these companies anyways. So as you can see, the way my, my charts are set up, I have a usually a daily or I can also change this to an hourly or four hour. This just gives me an overall look on a long term chart. And then I also keep a one minute and a five minute. This should be a five minute. Sorry a one minute and a five minute so this gives me a better indication on when to make a better day trade if i'm thinking of wanting to jump in something as it's popping moving whatever you want to call it so basically i have some uh some indicators also set up on the charts for our moving averages the thick blue is a 200 moving average 200 day moving average you have your 50 day moving average you have your 20 day moving average and then you got your seven day moving average so everything is set up to kind of understand you know what direction uh, the chart is moving the price is moving and how much volatility may be in the chart when it comes to the range um, in which the the price is moving so i do have a scanner also set up here just my main basic tools that'll that gives me what i need to give a basic analysis if there's something that I need to dig into a little deeper then I'll pull up a you know a single chart and maybe just dig you know dig in a little more and to see exactly what what I can find out about the stock I'll analyze you know their earnings I'll analyze their their revenue their debts you know, their past their history and just try to paint a picture of what I feel is to come especially if there's potential in in um different you know things that they may be starting up rolling out uh, these things are very important that aren't always leaked to the public sometimes you got to do a little digging to find out some of these things and I just like to be ahead of the party rather than late to the party so reason I just keep some scanners and I look for momentum and volume building if I do notice things to start to double up reason why I have the, these indicators here this shows me what I need to know. Anything in the green, this is showing you that there's a lot of volume coming in. Anything in the yellow, they're getting over, more or less, they're over their daily average. But is this enough to kick up a rally? It could be, but the green gives you more of an indication of high volume coming in. And there's a lot of momentum that can be building up, especially if you may see a stock, a stock start to consolidate. So those are signs that I look for and if I'm confident in these names and I may put a big buy out there, but these are just things I would like to make you aware of for those of you that are new and want to understand on how the, the flow charts work and <clears throat> more or less the buy and sell signals. Um, it's hard to really pinpoint. You can always set those stop losses, limit buys, things like that, where a lot of people do. I'm more of a real-time guy. I'm going to manually click it and sell it and buy it. A lot of times, these platforms, you set up a certain stop losses and stop buys, and I mean limit buys, and they just trigger. You hit a certain, you know, whatever, a certain price just because a, a big sell comes in or something, and it just drops you know just real quick and before you know it, you're pushed out of that you know that buy or that long or that short or whatever you want to call it and, and it's just kind of up, it's upsetting sometimes especially if you're sell yourself short and something that you could have set it a little lower it drops and right after it drops it just explodes 
So the reason I don't really like to use stop losses, um, the only thing I can say as far as a stop loss is if I have too much going on and I wanted to maybe throw a little money in something that I'm not really focused on completely for the day. So I'll put a stop loss just to try to play with it. And if it does hit that mark, all right, I'm out. You know, no fuss, no muss, but <clears throat> I just don't like taking big losses, but I don't like selling myself short. A lot of these stop losses I set and things always go the opposite way. So as a day trader, things that I do, jump in for the day, jump out at the end of the day, those are things that I usually do manually. But that's just the the way that I do it. <laughs> uh, you're welcome to, you know, set those those stops and buys as you please, and maybe that might be a little more helpful for you and your strategy. So we're still seeing some good price movement here. I mean, it hasn't jumped up or not, but volume's still coming in. Let's look at some of these stocks. Torch, it's building up. It's kind of hitting the VWAP. Breaks through the VWAP, it might start to come back up into the $11 range. Wish. Still been hovering around $14 or so, but I feel something today with this stock may happen. It's a lot going on with Wish. It's all in social media or Wall Street Bets forum. A lot of the retail investors are talking about this stock and it's giving it a lot of momentum. Uh, another couple of those out there like Beyond Meat, Bed Bath Beyond, uh, you know, AMC, GameStop. Uh, these names are just names that I feel like are little too out there, there's too much going on. Last thing I need is to jump in one of these stocks that everybody's trying to buy and sell. And once it pops, I'm trying to sell out and I can't even get out because there's too many people trying to buy and sell in. And eventually you just take a loss because you don't want to sell. You don't, you're not able to sell when you want and you might lose money rather than gain money. So it's always smart to try to plan ahead and try to get into something before it actually it starts to jump so you're you know ahead of the game and you're not trying to you know make a bad decision trying to chase the dollar because that's never smart let's see if we have any news that's been published here in the last hour or so torch So a dial pharmaceutical had a was approved for alcohol use disorder pill. Uh, recently seen an uptick in their volume today. We have Idera. A lot of these dollar star penny stocks as they call them. Um, they're a little risky though. It takes a lot to really drive a stock like that, you know, above a few dollars for the day. Usually they'll come up and then they'll come right back down real quick. These stocks I wouldn't recommend to buy in a pre-market. Anything under a dollar or under two dollars, I would wait and see how the, the market plays out once it opens. And just look for those certain buy-in, you know, little ranges here, as you would see, little breakout points. And if you can see a breakout point on somewhere and you can see the volume coming in, there's a nice catalyst driving volume, those may have potential to, to rally and if you get a good buy point when you do see those that would be the best time to buy in you don't want to jump in once you see it starting to jump up already because you know more times out of none that it's going to jump up and as soon as you buy in once it hits that peak it's going to just come right back down and it could test you know a level and then go right back up again but a lot of times the penny stocks once they pop they drop so that's not something i would recommend but just something to be aware of though when you are trying to figure out what you would like to put some of your money. And yeah, a lot of these other stocks are just, there's never some that have been in the, in the news before, but looking over some of these, I just don't see a lot of movement. There's not a lot going on. Um, there's really not a lot going on other than three I'm showing on top here. I mean, as we get closer to, what time is it here? 6 a.m. As we get closer to uh, pre-market, as well as uh, the 8 o'clock hour, we'll probably start to see a lot more volume build up in some of these well-known name stocks. But 
we'll just have to see how that plays out. I know it's been real choppy in the market lately. There might be a lot of, you know, scary investors right now trying to think of where to put their money or if they should or just wait it out. Crypto market is also another something that's been taking uh, taking hits and isn't looking real good right now. I have a you know a few things invested there too and just kind of holding tight hoping things turn around you know i try not to get scared out of my my shoes and my socks as they say <laughs> just to see, see when you see the the price drop um, it is something that kind of worries but if you're familiar with these markets some of them are just real volatile and it's just like a roller coaster ride you just got to go for the ride sometimes and just hold on tight <laughs> But yeah, give me uh, give me two minutes here. Let me grab my coffee. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. about 6 15 a.m you know june 22nd uh, market it's showing some movement but we are starting to see some of these stocks looking like they want to come down a little bit starting to lose some of its momentum i mean we're still seeing the volume come in but early morning hours we do sh we do see a lot of a lot of sellers a lot of short sellers like to come in here and start chopping at some of these stocks that popped the previous day. I come in here and try to, you know, make some little little money on some of those those dips there. But yeah, I would like to know what y'all are invested in or things that y'all are looking at. It's always good to share and try to. You know, a lot of our minds think alike, but we aren't always able to find everything. There's so many stocks out there, and a lot of these scanners don't always pick up everything, depending on what platform you use. So I like to compare. I might look at Webull and pull up what they have, and pull up TD Ameritrade or Thinkorswim and look in to so what they have showing on their scanners and their, their volume. Uh, Webull, their market always seems to, their scanners update uh, real time to where you don't have to actually go in there and set up the scanner, it just kind of automatically updates. Uh, with T Thinkorswim, you actually got to add and remove things depending on what you want to see, how you would like to see it, whether by the price, by the volume, by the percent change, uh, the close, these are things that you'd have to manually set up your scanner and then you just add what you want to add to it so this is what i just add in my day to day these are just a lot of the stocks that i'm familiar with and i always pretty much see things going on so i just i add to this list as i go and then there's ones that i might jump in or play with that really don't do much for me and i'll just remove them if I'm not profitable on a lot of these names, I really don't mess with them too much. You know, I jump in more than once and take a loss, I'm probably not going to go back again. So that's kind of how I am with that. Looks like Torch, uh, torch Light's coming down some. Looks like it just broke through uh, one of its levels here. So it actually might start to see a downside today, but hey, it's been up, you know, about over 100% here for the last couple of days, which is not bad. I was actually in this stock last week and uh, I bought in, I think it was about $6 and I buy in and it ended up coming down to about $580. I, hold, I held it for about a day, the following day, last week it ended up dropping another, you know, 80 cents. I think it came down to about $5 or right under 5 and I kind of felt like it would probably come back up, but at the time there was some other things going on that I really wanted to be in more. So I did take a loss and I sold out on those shares, which, uh, yeah, I would have been up if I would have held on to them. But 
doing my my research on this company it wasn't a for sure thing there's just the numbers just weren't adding up of the value of the company although they do have dividends uh, that they're gonna provide the st uh, stakeholders stockholders whatever you want to call them but they're just not a big enough company valued at a 10 to 11 dollar price so I already had a feeling that it may not even go back up, but hey, with enough momentum, as you can see, anything could happen, right? But overall, this is just not a stock that I wanted to stay in long term, because if it would have came down, it might not have ever came back up. But you can't win them all. can't be emotional when it comes to these things, so it's kind of just cut your loss, move on to the next. AMC took a hit yesterday also. Everyone's all in this AMC, AMC, like, all right, y'all, go chase that dollar, but I'm sorry if y'all lose money there. You might get lucky and catch the pop, but everyone in the world is out here trying to catch that pop, and we can't all be millionaires. We can't all be rich. So all I can advise is take what you can get, move on to the next. If you're waiting to be rich off of one stock, you're probably going to be waiting for a long time. I feel like Tesla's gonna be popping soon too. There's not a lot of volume, but going off of their chart. Starting to uptrend again. It's consolidating though. But a consolidating uptrend, small uptrend. Eventually this is gonna break out also, but 622 a share. <laughs> uh, it's not a lot of wiggle room for me when it comes to how many shares I can buy to actually make some good money. Okay, if it goes up a little, I may make $30, $40 on a share, but how many shares do I got to buy to actually make money? <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that for y'all big dogs, all them big millionaires or whatever out there. Y'all can play with that all y'all want. Some of the other EV companies that I would be more interested in, like CCIV. This one's kind of been hovering around that $20, $23 mark. And this one just needs a good catalyst also to drive this one up. As you can see, this one had a high of almost $65. Which went from, what, $10 up to 65 in a matter of about a month. Two months, maybe. Which is incredible. So, I have a... As you can see, I have a support or a resistance line uh, drawn here. If this can break through this line, this is where we may be able to see it start to climb up. But it's got to break through this line in order for us to see any any price moving up any higher. So this is something that I've been watching here. And as it gets closer to this $26 mark, I might consider buying in some more. But right now we're kind of just holding on the sideline. Palantir is also a good stock, I feel. A lot of people know about Palantir. And Right now, I'm all into this cybersecurity, you know, technology. This is what's going on in our world. There's a lot of flaws in the system, and a lot of people are breaching through what we have in place now. And we need something a lot stronger. It's got a lot more, you know, defense behind what it is that's protecting our our data and our our information, our personal information. You know, the last thing I want someone hacking my stuff or getting access to my social security or my money or my bank accounts, you know, like these are things that people worry about every day. Um, they're hacking schools now and uh, gas pipelines and like what's next. Uh, but I'm not going to preach about politics, but here cybersecurity is always a plus on my list. And these are things that I'm heavily invested in right now. And Blackberry, like them or not, love them or hate them, I love Blackberry. I've loved them since I've had their phones. I'm I'm old school. Apple just wasn't for me. I don't like Apple. I've always liked Blackberry since they stopped making their phones. I've kind of just went with Android, just kept it basic, and I really don't care about phones now, but. Knowing that they've been coming out with some new technology for our electric vehicles and cybersecurity that they're trying to develop, 
their earnings are this week. I'm just feeling there's going to have a lot of interest in this stock here pretty soon, and we're probably going to see this price jump. You can see that descending triangle here on the daily, and we're showing support here right on the the moving average. This is the I believe this is the 20 day moving average. 21 day. So yeah. Um, looking forward to that. But yeah guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is Morning Hype with Mr. Stacks. I hope you had a. You know an easy morning. And I hope this. Uh, this session was helpful for y'all. And I'll give you a little insight. As to how the market moves. And on what to watch today. Again, some of the stocks you want to keep an eye on are the ones with the volume coming in. And that would be Torch. Uh, we have Wish. These are two I would think would be some of our main focus today. As well as uh, some of these meme stocks, you know. So, anything else that uh, may develop along the way, I'll be providing another update video for those. And I hope to see y'all again soon. Uh, tomorrow we'll be out again so we'll chop it up at that time and I hope y'all have a good day we'll talk to y'all then alright y'all peace